Welcome back, everyone, to another one take. This time, it is the Holland. It's a destroyer I actually really enjoy playing. I find it quite comfortable simply because it's got great AA, which means carriers probably aren't going to go for you. As you can see, we have one in this game. So it opens up a lot of freedom to just move around the map. The other thing I love about this ship really is the torpedoes. They're just hilarious to use because they're just so fast. <laughs> like 95 knot torps, sure, they don't do the most damage, but it's a pretty fun torpedo build. Um, you can build it for guns as well, but as someone who has Smallend and Ragnar, I'm more inclined to run those as gun builds and then this more torpedo focused. That tends to be the way I play this ship, but a gun build can work as well since the DPM isn't too bad. And crucially, we have a heal. I think that that's really, really interesting because not a lot of DDs have heals. You basically trade a smoke for that heal, right? Normally, a lot of DDs have just a smoke screen and it's pretty standard destroyer play from there. But for us, we don't have a smoke. So we have to be a little bit careful just because of that. I think that that's maybe the most difficult thing to learn, at least with these European destroyers, is learning how to play without a smoke, especially in a ship that's slow, right? We had ships like the Kaba, the um, Marceau, Kleber, right? They're all ships without smokes as well, but they're long range gunboats that have a lot of speed to dodge. These are reasonably stealthy, I would say, and they also have, uh, well, they're pretty big, easy targets to hit. Not the most maneuverable ships in the world, that's for sure. Uh, we'll turn our AA on, turn it off real quick as well. Something you should always be trying to do is turn your turn your AA on and off again. Um, you don't want to be spotted, so we have a 2.7 kilometer air detect. But I tend to wait as long as I did there in that case. Now, do we hit them at all? Nice, our greedy torps worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love these torps. They're so fun. And if we hit enough with this special commander, we actually get a reload buff to him too, which is hilarious. I didn't pop my defensive fire there since I didn't think he was coming after me. We only have four, um, which is decent, but I really do want to have a little bit extra protection just in case the carrier does come after me. I don't want to waste them all, right? Um, looks like... Oh, are you getting dodged it? Sick. Nice dodge, bro. Um, what would it be? Uh, okay. I retract that statement. I'm sorry. <laughs> I may have jinxed him there. Um, I wonder what's out here. A Shima, I guess. It's a weird game. It's a very weird game because there's just no one out here. Like our team doesn't have anybody here. Their team doesn't really have anybody here. It's a space where a lot of people tend to just play. And this time not. Although this is a new map, so, you know, I'm trying to get used to it as well. Try and get ourselves some gun hits on the Shima. Try and kill him. Maybe. Oh, we're landing a bunch of torps. Five. Yes, five. <laughs> Oh man, what a good time. Okay, now the question is, do I push this, right? We've taken the Shima down to pretty low HP. The problem is I have to push so aggressively towards where their team is. I don't know if I want to do that. At least I do have AA, right? Like these sorts of positions don't work. If you are, oh, he's back for more apparently. Okay, I thought he was gonna run, um, but hey, I'll take a free kill. See, for him, the smart decision certainly was to just run away. I think that that's, uh, there's no debating that, really. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. But hey, I'll take the kill. He tried to tort me. Let's make sure we avoid them. Pretty good start to the game. We've basically secured uh, control of this flank. And now we can just kind of farm out their battleships. But maybe that's not what I should be doing. Maybe there's something more productive I could be doing with my time. I'm actually going to use one of my heals. Not a full heal, but I mean, I took some damage. I don't really want to stay lower health than I have to be. 
I'm fortunate in this game that really the only gunboat I have to worry about is Smallend. Um, Gearing and I have similar DPM. I have an advantage when it comes to healing back health. So I think I might try to just support my team as in the middle, actually. I don't really want to do this spawn flank that tends to be pretty useless for your team. Especially in a carrier game where the carrier is doing a lot of spotting anyway, right? Um, that's kind of the reason for that. Sometimes it's very useful to do uh, spawn pushes where you get that extra spotting for your team and it's very, very good. But when there's a carrier, I don't think we necessarily need it. Uh, very greedy torps here again, but <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they hit the Yami. Uh, we've done a good job, though, to start with. Holland is nice and comfy to play, for me personally. I really, really do love to play this ship. Um, our Monty's in trouble, though. Yeah, he's in he's in trouble. So is our Shima there. That's not good. And a Nakamov coming in here as well. Oh, boy. I'm going to... Oh, okay, Monty's just dead. Oh, look at that. Torp hits on the Emmy, so that means we got a reload boost on our torps now. Uh, so yeah, 70 second reload on them only. <laughs> Pretty spicy. I know I said I was going to go back mid, but I kind of want to torp this, uh, this Monty here. I don't know what his plan is, but I do want to torp him pretty badly. I'll dump those there, and then I'm actually going to go back for the Shima and maybe help our Incomparable with some AA support. But notice how we've just, like, absolutely lost this game. It's possible me kind of dilly-dallying here and torping too much um, lost us the game a little bit quicker. I'm not saying fully lost the game because, well... Oh, he dodged it. Okay. Um, torping at that angle is pretty bad as well. We don't have the fastest ship in the world, so repositioning kind of is difficult. So, yeah, it's going to be tough from here. I don't think we win anything, actually, especially because there's a sub. Oh, my goodness. I can't deal with a sub. As you know, there's no counterplay as a destroyer. Um, the torps just kind of home in on you, and there's nothing you can do, which is pretty sad, I would say. I will open up to try and get a bit of damage on him, hopefully, and he's impossible to hit right away. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so a bit of a blowout this one, but hey, that's, I mean, World of Warships, right? We, we know that blowouts happen all the time. Maybe next game we'll be able to do a little bit more. I thought we had such a good start, too. Too bad. Too bad. Um, now, where do I torp? I think the Monty's just going to go bow into me, so I don't really think that's worth torping. Maybe I can get some lucky torp hits on something in the middle there. That could be fun. Our Shima's full health just running. That might be that might be part of what what's going so poorly for us at the moment. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if we can bring this back. This is one of those games where the enemy team is kind of over pushing into us, but I don't know if we can actually do anything about it, which is pretty disappointing. Oh, two hits. Is that on the Bilal? If so, that's pretty cool. Um, random torps for the win, apparently. Gonna chuck them in a gap and hope that's really what that was. I'm gonna just charge in here. There's really not much point in me, uh, I don't know, trying to save my HP or whatever. We just kind of gotta go. The small end, low health small end. Okay, now Shima. So, you know, gun builds are pretty nice too because you get to uh, do a little better in scenarios like this. But. Like that. Unfortunately for me, we're gonna get absolute blasted here. Yep, these carriers are balanced, as we all know. And there we go. That's a Holland game. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say other than I wish I had a team. So not bad damage out of that one, but uh, certainly not hoping for blowouts like that. Those are pretty disappointing to see. 
but uh, they happen to everyone. So not much I can do about that. We'll talk about the build here for a second. It is a torp build, right? So we're just maximizing our torpedo power. We could be running gunboats, right? We could be running a gun build, which would be pretty good in those scenarios where I'm trying to fight destroyers. But again, I have a small end. I have a Ragnar for those kind of games that I want to play. This is, this is my torp ship. As for the upgrades, of course, we can see torp build as well, concealment, propulsion. I do love to play with my acceleration. And the rudder's decent enough already. Pretty standard build otherwise. Let's, uh, let's jump into the next one. Okay, on to the second game. Something that is really important to know when playing a DD is that you want to spread out your destroyer forces pretty evenly. So notice we have two destroyers towards the sea flank. We only have one towards A. Submarines, I don't really count because they just kind of selfishly do their own thing. Um, they're not tending to be spotting or doing anything like that. So for me to play at C, we kind of overload this flank, which means we have to win it and win it quickly because this flank then becomes extremely weak um, since it's only got one DD. And it's a Daring, which is potentially a amazing destroyer to carry games with, certainly. But... As a good player, I want to be trying to help my team not uh, lose just from a tactical perspective off the bat. Um, looks like our Napoli is going to be pushing pretty aggressive into the B cap, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, but that's why I'm going to go this way. If you're wondering, even though I spawned out here, I tend to say go to the cap you spawned at. Because usually you're going to spawn in a reasonably tactically sound way, but it doesn't always get it right. And this is one of those times where if I go over here, I'm not really adding much because they already have battleships, two DDs to spot and, you know, contest the cap, whatever. Here we're weak. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, it's very important to just look at that. You can do that with cruisers, battleships as well, but it matters more with destroyers because DDs, DDs are how you contest areas of the map, not just cap zones. Like if there's no DDs over here, how do you know what's out here? How do you know that there's not a destroyer flanking you and just gonna torp you to death, right? It's that kind of thing. Like these DDs are securing the flank right now. So that's uh, a very important role for a destroyer. And Holland does a very good job. Even though it doesn't have a smoke to, you know, save itself if it gets into trouble. The nice thing about not having a smoke is you're just constantly spotting. There is no time at all where you're not just able to spot if somebody's within spotting di distance of you. It's really quite nice. Um, I really hope our daring doesn't eat that. Oh, I'm missing. All right, let's try and hit this Holland a little bit. Uh, unfortunate. Our daring is very, very close to dead. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that's bad. I think we all understand why. I might actually trade out the gearing here with these torps, which are pretty nasty. They're so fast, right? Like, yep. <laughs> They're just so fast. They're just so fast, right? Like, think about it. If he was, he was like six kilometers away from me, that's like 25 seconds. It's so quick. I'm also hard charging in at this Holland because I know that we're at least even, but I would say advantage because look at how close our Republic is, right? And I also want to save our Republic. I don't care about the cap right now. I really don't. I want to, uh, I want to support my battleship here who's pushing probably too aggressive, but still, we need to know where this guy is. Um, I should keep in mind though that I'm kind of crossing the torpedo angle, right? <laughs> Let's keep that in mind as well. Now, did he run away or not? That's the question. I lost um, RPF location, so that probably means he's a little closer to the daring now. Or that's someone else's RPF, I'm not sure. But, uh, okay. I'm not sure what's going on, but we'll torp here. Just in case he decides to turn out like that. Okay, so the Holland definitely turned around. And I think that's the smart play from his side, right? Like, 
definitely what he should be doing. Now, I don't want to get too close in here. Our Republic is over pushing. Our daring is low. We, we lose this flank. As soon as these two go down, I can't hold this flank. Right? Like, I just can't hold it. Uh, looks like we're about to smash the uh, Shikishima. <laughs> See, I love these Torps, man. It, there's not a lot of leading to do. It's just kind of like, oh yeah, he'll be there. And bam. <laughs> Torpedoes reduced already. The reload. Oh, I love it. All right, so our Republic is dead. That's why I'm not pushing here. The Holland could spot me. I don't want to fight next to like three ships supporting him, right? Like, that's just bad news, okay? That's not gonna happen. I don't know why our guys push so aggressively. Um, also over here, looks like we lost a DD. But our Republic wanted to game, so he's, he's gaming, I guess. <laughs> Now, who is going to be a reasonable target to hit? Colombo, maybe? And potential on the Slava as well. You know, there's there's multiple ships that could come into this angle, which is quite nice. All right, so there he goes. Now, let's check. What is this guy going to do? Let's see. Say hello quick. Um, okay, we're getting torpits on Slava. <laughs> I love this ship, man. It's so fun. I mean, it's it's torping battleships. It's very free, but still, it's so fun. Um, oh my goodness, another one. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to go try and hunt the DD while these guys are like pushing in aggressively. I'm also gonna try and use this island to hopefully block any incoming fire. So I just take a 1v1 with a low health Holland. Um, okay. They'll probably push. We'll dump those there. That might not be enough lead. Slava can accelerate pretty quickly. Well, there's a Columbo there as well. There's lots of things. I'm located, so the Holland probably knows I'm out here messing around. <laughs> uh, but let's see if we can get into a fight. Columbo's guns aren't looking at us. Slava guns aren't looking at us. All very good. We're going to smash him, too. All right, we're going to fight. Definitely need to be leading more. Got his gun again. Pretty good. Notice Columbo turning for us. Gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, that's it for now. And wow, Columbo actually hit quite a few there. He won't be reloaded by the time we go dark, so we should be good to go here. I'm gonna torp like this, because he probably turns in. And there we go. Now we're dark, and we kind of run just a little bit. Yeah, he turns in. So we might get some torpits. We'll see. Also, don't want to be on the border. We need speed to get out of here. <laughs> okay. I mean, pretty good second game so far. We're up to 187. I love this ship, man. Last game was like just a speed loss, right? Those happen. But games like this that last a little longer. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And it's the speed of the the torps, both in reload and like, look at how little lead I have to do. It's a battleship at like seven kilometers. It's crazy. Okay, we know where Holland is now. 
Probably a turn out from the Columbo. We'll cut that a little bit. He's not looking at us, so let's just open up with our guns. Get ourselves a nice little fire. Although he's turning more broadside. Um, I don't know if my torps are going to be okay for that. Looks like no. That's okay. We missed that salvo of torps. That's okay. They're back up soon enough, and we got 200k. Just like that. And you know, Holland doesn't have the best gun range either. That's one of the reasons that gun build can be a little harder. Because you have to invest in range alongside reload things, where a small end already has better base range that it can it can do a little better, where you don't have to take as many gun upgrades. Our fire is still burning, feels pretty good. But uh, this game is certainly not over. Certainly not. Not even close, actually. We might even lose this one. Okay, we'll dump those there. Alright, he just shot. So let's open up again. Try and get a fire. We do want to be supporting our team, trying to help kill this guy who's a high caliber. Nice. Okay, that's a good hit, finally. Okay, that should be a... I don't know about a permafire, but... Torp got some. Feeling good. Now we go back and try and deal with their Holland. I'm not going to try and deal with the Holland in the south. I hope our battleship and cruiser can kind of just get out of there. That would be nice. I don't know if that's going to work. We're winning on points by a lot, so we need to keep that in mind as well. By an absolute ton, actually. I'm going to cut south because I want to get an angle here to torp this thunder. That's another thing that's quite nice is because you don't need to lead as much, there's opportunities to get giant torpedo salvos away that uh, otherwise wouldn't be able to. What's our torpedo reload? Is it below a minute? Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. All right, I think we're okay to open up on this thunder. We got a lot of HP still. And we do need to kill him. Our torps are gonna be absolutely nasty. Uh, this is bad. Okay, bad position, got caught off guard, but our Napoli should kind of crush the Holland here. And we absolutely smashed the Thunder. I'm gonna reverse out too, by the way, because we do need to kill this guy and I have a health advantage now. And I think he used his Torps. We definitely need to kill this guy. It's a free, it should be a free kill. No, oh, the Napoli went down. That's really bad. Oh, okay. Similar HP. We got the fire first. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm in a really bad spot now. I'll probably go down, but maybe I can sneak away here. Nope. Okay, we lose. Or we're dead, but our team might still clutch it out. Unfortunate. Um, I guess I should have played more passive when coming back from the A cap towards B. We might get some more torps on the Yoshi. Um, looks like they missed, though. Too bad. Um, well... We'll see how this game ends. All right, so two losses in a row, but I promise this is a good ship, okay? <laughs> this is a lot of fun to play. 
Um, it's a very good torpedo boat, as we can see. 26 torpits. Feeling pretty good about that one. Um, yep. Again, top score by a lot on the loss. Nothing surprising there either. As far as the ship goes, I think that it's one of the more enjoyable ships to play in the game for me personally. I find it just very, very comfortable. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this one take, and uh, that's going to be it for me. I hope you have a great rest of your day.